All right, so we're gonna experiment with some wood gas burners. Um, they burn the wood on the bottom as well as the exhaust given off by the wood. Uh, with the, with the uh, reintroduction of fresh air on the upper portion, the smoke will reignite. Um, you get more BTUs out of your uh, um, wood source. So this is uh, a repro of Zelf stove. And I kind of took out the uh, extra hardware. I used some ballpoint pen springs to form the hinges on here. Um, also bent the prongs on the hardware cloth to form the locking mechanism and the support for the base here. You can see these are bent. Just snip one of the uh, one of the ends and um, make some prongs out of it, and um, appears to work quite well. Two more down here. Pretty sturdy. I mean, doesn't come apart at all. So we'll be working with that one and uh, a solo version of it that I made. Um, triangular version, same thing, ballpoint pen springs, and just bending the, um, the hardware cloth to form these prongs here to put it together. Takes a second to set them up, and uh, then you've got your unlimited fuel source in the woods. Once again, and they don't come apart. So. We'll try out the solo version, well, the smaller solo version, and kind of uh, a version for uh, one to maybe two people. It's 10, 10 cubes by seven. We're gonna put a Peak 700 on that one, and we're gonna put the, an REI, I think that's a 750, um, or an 800 on the larger one. See how long it takes to get some uh, water, two cups of uh, water boiled. And uh, instead of doing it like a Swedish torch and, and burning from the top down, I think I'd prefer to see it the other way. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, granted, if you're in the field, you're not going to have perfect pieces of wood. So this is a pretty realistic demonstration. This isn't, you know, two by fours that are, this is the way you'd be doing it if you were out there. There we go. And I'm not really a hobbyist. I'm more of a... And out and outdoorsman so these are this is something I would really want to use so you're, you're gonna to want to consider that before you make it your primary stove um, and if you want to cook quickly don't count on it it's gonna take a little preparation preparing the wood making sure that the size probably a good idea to have a windscreen on these we're at uh, 710 and we're gonna boil on the uh, larger stove, so and it goes without saying it was equal amount of water in this pot, narrow pot, and we do not have a boil. We're working on one. All right. So in closing, uh, if you don't mind the uh, sooty pot, of course, with cooking with wood, um, this size here is certainly going to boil water quicker and more efficiently, especially with the wide bottom pot. The smaller kind of solo version of it, as you can see. You certainly, if you had a, uh, a windscreen on it and you'd be directing the flame directly up against the pot, it'd probably be more comparable. So I'm not so certain that the weight savings on uh, this size is worth it. All right, we're going to start this uh, second experiment on this stove. What we're going to do is a bottom start, bottom light, see if, see if that works out. And we're going to simulate... Uh, a windscreen by having it in a more protected area. We've got them on experiment number two, um, doing it in a sheltered area to simulate having the um, windscreen around it. Probably um, a kite windscreen would work very well with these. And you could have that made out of aluminum or Tyvek or whatever. And uh, we'll come back and see how this does. burning much better in a uh, sheltered area. Flame is more localized on the pot. Be interested in, to see uh, what we get for times. Rolling boil, six minutes, 10 seconds. So enough said with that one. As long as you've got it out of the wind.
All right. You're not gonna get a rolling boil out of uh, the stove. You'd probably have to, you know, top feed it a little. But um, you've got bubbles breaking, but it's not a rolling boil. And the amount of fuel is just not enough to get it to a rolling boil. It just doesn't hold enough. That is for two cups of water. Certainly, one cup of water at a time is definitely gonna go. Two cups is just under, so if you're gonna boil one cup of water, you can go with this size, this design, one cup at a time, maybe a cup and a half. Two to three cups, no problem for this size here. So, and uh, you're not gonna, I tried um, lighting it from the bottom and it's not gonna happen. So a center load, tinder in the center seemed to work best for me. That way the flames are, are hitting some uh, fuel on top instead of just uh, top loading it and top lighting it. This is the way to go.